Alright, so... I've been putting this video off for a while because there's more important things I have to take care of. Um, but today I finally get to do the thing that I guess I kind of need to help drifting. Um, if you see in my other videos, you see I have a hard time trying to get the thing to counter steer. Which is why you always see me fighting the steering wheel and fighting it, your hands all over the place, not good. The problem with the Nissan hard body, or just most Nissan hard bodies in general, from what I've seen and experienced, is they don't really like to self-center steer themselves. So when you what it means is, let's say you make a turn. So you turn, you know, making a turn, making a left, making a right, whatever, and you let go of the wheel. And usually when you let go of the wheel, it should center itself, make it back to straight. The Nissan Harbi doesn't do that. When I let go of the wheel, it'll just keep going whatever I left the steering wheel at. Sometimes it'll do that, sometimes it won't. So I have to, like, always be on the wheel when that happens. So what a lot of drifters usually do is they increase the caster of their wheel, the front wheel especially. Um... Most of them have, like, adjustable control arms and all these other parts to help them adjust caster, but this is a truck. This is a Nissan hard body. So, I got this idea from CJ, Millikilly D21, on how he increased the caster on it. So, you're going to have to go and get some tension rod bushings and well I decided to go with the polyurethanes from energy suspension I already bought a pair and put them on there already but those things are really messed up so we're gonna be using this um, and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with these because just putting these in won't do it there's more to it So one of the main problems I have is being too low does things to your truck. Well, really can't get a socket in there. That side uh, seems like it's on its way to go. I probably should get that welded. You'll pull out the Clarkson and hammer away. So yeah, you're just going to see this being removed, and then you're going to see this side get installed. <sighs> the reason why is because my camera died when I was installing, well, removing this side. So you're just going to see me install this side, but remove this side. Alright, so my battery is kind of dead, so I have this thing charging. I'm doing this but let's continue so what we have here is the old tension rod bushings which isn't so bad the other side's worse but here are the new ones so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take two that you're gonna use for the back side of the torsion 
tension rod will go here, one goes like this, and another goes in front of it. You're gonna pick one of the two of these out of the four, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it in half. And this will, in theory, help increase your caster. Just cut it down in the middle, like that. Pretty simple. So I got this right here, I got the vise, and I got the hacksaw. So yeah, you're just gonna put this in here, tighten it, and then hack away. That's it. Not sure if you saw, but the other piece that I cut off, I put it here just because there's a sleeve that goes in there. And if I didn't put this in here, this would have already hit this piece. This, the, well, the nut would have hit this. And there would be a huge, gigantic gap. So this thing would be shifting back and forth while I'm driving, which is not ideal not safe so I put that in there just in case you can also stack washers up in there that's your option as long as it fits through this sleeve but yeah this sleeve is required and I definitely recommend using the leftover bushing that you chopped off and you repeat the same thing on the other side well driving the truck ever since I did the um wow it's hot Excuse me. So, been driving around like two weeks with the uh, 
cutting the bushings and increasing the cast. And I really realized that, you know, it will self-center steer better. The car keeps itself straight a lot better. Um, but when I put the drop spindles in, I'm going to go to the alignment machine and see how much increase the caster is or how much I increase the caster by. But yeah. I hope that helps someone out on uh, modifying the hard body a little bit. It's very simple, very cheap. You just got to get the polyurethane bushings. Well, I prefer polyurethane bushings, but I hope the video helps somebody out. Um, I got this idea from CJ, Melikilla D21 on Instagram. So thank you, CJ, for the idea. And yeah, thanks for watching.